Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to the... Yes, it's the desk. Oh my god, that rag is disgustingly dirty. No, that's alright. That'll, uh, that'll fit in well around here. This isn't the empire of dirt, as some may have. It's more like the, uh, the desk of destruction. Ha! <laughs> Something along that line. Anyway, let's see if we can get rid of some of this crap while we're here. Before we move on to the next stage. That's good enough. So, bear with me. I'm filming this on an iPad on a bouncy sort of uh, stand thingy me bob. And uh, it's not the greatest. I don't know how to do editing or any of that stuff yet, but we'll get there. So we're just having a bit of fun, and we are going to have a play around with this new um, SMD rework station, which is just over yonder here. We'll shall sure bring that in to the frame. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. I really need to get a bigger desk. Now, let's stick something underneath that. Yeah. How does that look? I guess it'll have to do. We've got this up here, but we won't be using that. So we might just actually take them off and put them away for today. Come on out. Oh, there's always a little bit left on there. <clears throat> Just put that aside. Try not to drop it on the dog. And uh, we shall bring in this here. And this is a circuit board out of a networked um, swipe card uh, swipe card terminal thing and uh, talks back to database so forth but um, as you can see I had to play around and I tried to use this just to remove some of those pins and I got those ones off sort of semi successfully and those ones, not so good. And that was my second attempt. Let's see. So that's what they look like. I was kind of hoping that I could have just pulled that all off in one nice hit. Come off a bit cleaner, but... Yeah, it's a negative. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to turn her on. Oh, it's actually on already. And uh, let's grab this, and as soon as you pull it off, it starts heating up, as you can see over there. So I've got it set to 325. And as you can see, it's, it's quite a big thing, but um, it does say hot on it, but doesn't actually get that hot in the handle so that's good so I'm just uh, we'll get cracking on one of these chips here I think uh, which one which I don't care about sacrificing like I said in the previous video I am a newbie to this so I might actually bump it up a little bit so I don't really care if it burns the chip out just want to get it off in you know not too long a time. So let's just try this sucky here and see what happens. The weapon might just fall straight off. Oh, 
PCB board. Hot PCB board. Now I'm probably doing this all wrong, but people, if you're watching and you're critical, leave your comments. I will read them. And uh, yeah, try to keep trolling down. Not big on trolls, but I don't think anybody is. But hey, I'm all into um, getting feedback, suggestions on how I could be doing it better, more efficiently. Hmm, I think we might have been able to see something happen by now. No. See, it doesn't come off and get hot fingers. Jeez. So it's changing colour. I don't know if I'm too close, too far away, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, shit, I'm just getting too close. Ooh, ooh, that little thumb you can see there on the left, getting quite hot. Come on, baby. My eyes are going to fall off there shortly. Come on. Focus is going a bit crazy. Oh, it's looking back to it, just taking a while. I did read somewhere they recommended preheating the boards. Um, maybe I should try that, but then I'd have to have gloves or something to handle it with. And, uh, and if you heard from my last videos, that uh, you know, I don't keep my gloves handy. <laughs> um, and the other problem is too is the uh, missus is uh, currently cooking dinner in the oven, so. Come on. Oh look. There we go, it fell off. Might have been able to fall off for a while. Let's try another one. I wonder about that one up there by that buzzer. I wonder if it's going to burn the buzzer out or melt the plastic on the buzzer. Quite possibly. What about this one up here? This has got a lot more pins on it. What is there on there? Let's not pick it up for a spot. Like that. Anybody knows what that is? Feel free to chime in. I think there's been some pretty good stuff on here. Anyway. Uh, I'm filming, mate. Can you come back later? Thank you. <laughs> Very hot. Yes, gloves are essential if you're going to try and hold it. So let's just try something different and we'll put it on the bench. <laughs> Which one are we going for, dude? Um, yeah, I don't know about that socket. That socket might melt. Let's just try this one here. This little guy. Can't see, unfortunately.
hopefully being a bit smaller it will be a bit quicker See, Clive and Julian, they'd be all over this. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, me old mate, the uh, EV blog. But I'm just an amateur. Electronics is not my living. It's just my part-time hobby. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. See? Woohoo! So, I have to say, yes, that does seem to work okay. have to give that a two thumbs up, especially for the price. Now, uh, I think, like, you know, you've probably watched a few of these videos by now, and you, you've seen that when you hang this thing up, it starts cooling down. Yeah, I don't know. Those bloody Chinese, mate, they're just real good at this sort of clever stuff. Gotta love the Chinese. Love the Chinese. <clears throat> so, anyway, I think that will do us for today. We'll upload that. Um... I don't know if I've got any more comments about this. Possibly. Yes, I did have a play with this here, actually. I was... I was a bit miffed that this only went up to 15 volts. The output here. Uh, I haven't even seen what current it is. I'm guessing maybe 1.5 amp. Uh, this is your, where you plug them in and you can actually use this as a voltmeter. And I'm guessing it goes up to 50 volts max on there. But, hey, look. This cost me 100 bucks, Aussie. I reckon you can't go wrong. You know, you, you, you'd be hard-pressed to buy a, um, you know, a, a decent sort of soldering station just for that price, let alone all the uh, hot air rework side of it and a little power supply built in here. Yeah, so, all in all, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, um, the voltage regulation uh, was all right. I don't know, my multimeter might be, might have worse <laughs> calibration than what this has. So, uh, but it was like only point one of a volt out, according to my multimeter, which is um, not the greatest. Bit of an oldie, half ah, fallen to bits multimeter. Bit like me. Yes. All right, so, uh, yeah, I think that will conclude this video. Any questions, uh, or comments, whatever, leave them below. And uh, how's it me what's it down there? And, uh, and I will reply. So, uh, see you next time.